welcome to my channel today is the official empty house store i am truly excited to be taking you around this house and exploring this space with you and just talking about some of the selection we have in here this is the entryway of the office space let's get in here so you can see what it looks like and i'll take you over this way Here we are in the entryway of the half bathroom. This is a closet space. This is what it looks like in there. And this is the half bathroom. I'm gonna turn the light on. So we did upgrade the sink. The standard sink that came with the half bathroom is the oval shape one. But we wanted something a little bit more fancier, and I think this just do it for us. I just love how it is. So we went with the rectangular shape, and I think it looks good. And this is the mirror that comes, and the um, little towel hanger. And this is what it looks like. And of course, if you've seen the other video, you know that this half bathroom has a closet space in the back. And here we are. Like, you cannot get enough closet space, okay? All right, so I'll take you over here. And this is the dining space. So this is the formal dining room. And this right here, I've already gotten a chair for this area. And I can't wait to get it set up. But this is, you know, it's like a rest area right here. Um, just the area between uh, the basement exit or entryway and the uh, upstairs. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. Hi, hi, Lexi. How are you? Are you excited? Yeah. Yes? Can you guys say hi, guys? We will start with the living room, and this is the living room, this is what it looks like. So the fireplace we added to the living space, the fireplace is an upgrade. We pay extra for it for those of you who don't know. Um, upgrading something in the, with a new builder, it's just me, it does not come in the base price of the home. This fireplace can be operated by battery, so if we ever lose electricity, at least we can put battery in here to warm the house until we get things up and running again. Um, yeah, so as you can see, that is it. Now I will bring you to my kitchen. I can't wait to just get in here and start cooking. Okay, friends, so I had to do a voice over here because my three years old was super excited. And when she gets excited, she gets super loud, just like her mama. But what I'm explaining here is that this is a mismatched countertops in our kitchen. The island is a level 4 countertop with our builder. The kitchen perimeter is a level 3. But what we did to kind of match things up so it blends so well together is that we chose the gray veining that is in the kitchen island for the kitchen perimeter. So the countertop around the perimeter are gray as well but it just blends so so well together it looks so beautiful and these kitchen drawers we did include a soft clothes on all of them in the kitchen here so that is that and we have the oven and microwave on the top I can't wait to bake. I love to bake. And yes, yeah, so I am super excited for that. Yeah, so there you go. Um, just testing everything out. And make sure it is all working and they are. And of course, we have our fridge. So with our builder, the two offer appliances so they do offer the refrigerator dishwasher 
um, of course the microwave and oven but we upgraded these because I wanted a uniform look and to have this uh, uh, to have our fridge in case we had to upgrade so this we paid for um, otherwise you would have seen the back of the fridge and yeah so this is what it looks like and I'm just really excited for this like this backsplash ooh, don't even get me talking about the backsplash but this is what it looks like it's a simple subway tire that has a barefoot detail on it as you can see the kitchen color is dark and I just wanted something light to kind of keep it light a little bit so to brighten things up I decided to go with a white uh, backsplash and this just it, it, it did it for me with that barefoot detail just like yes so that's what it looks like so we have this on a cabinet lighting they are um, upgrades we went with the lighting because uh, to have this box like this design on the cabinets you also have to pay for it otherwise you would just have the flat um, cabinet without the design and when you get the design it comes with the lighting or if you choose the lighting you get the design so I really like the design so we decided to get the uh, lighting with it yep so that's what it looks like now we're gonna come on over to the techno space all right so this is the techno space and this area every time I look at this area I get so mad <laughs> I get so mad at myself okay um so we decided to not extend the navy blue a charcoal blue cabinet into this area and I think that was a big mistake because this brown just does not go well with that navy blue but this is where we are that's what we stuck with for now um, we will change it at some point but for now this is gonna be here so this is a work area it's a static area for the kids to do their um, homework and stuff while I'm in the kitchen making dinner, lunch, and what have you. And you want to come over here. This is our pantry. And I am excited to just stock this thing. One thing about me, I don't like to go grocery shopping. So when I'm out at the grocery store, I like to get tons of stuff so I don't have to go back so, so I'm excited about this pantry. It's gonna be stocked with stuff where I'm not constantly at the grocery store. Yeah, so that is that. Okay, so this is our mug room. And it has a window. We also have a closet. We have a closet over here in the entryway. Our coats are in here. We don't have any handcuffs, so we just throw them up there. But this is what it looks like. It's a really big space. And again, I am just grateful for the amount of space that we have in this house. And I can't wait for us to fill it and turn it into a home. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And now, we are going to go upstairs. If you guys have seen this area already in the session of the kitchen. So we learned that that box over there is our doorbell because in one of my videos I was wondering what is that box? That's the doorbell over there. So yeah. And we have our built-in speakers. We just have the built-in speakers on this level. We just have two of them. So the built-in speaker is also an upgrade. It's extra. Um, with the built-in speakers, it came in different packages. Um, when you it came in two five and seven but the thing about it is that when you purchase a package it only goes in one location we we had thought about purchasing the seven speaker package but then we learned that that seven speaker would only be on one floor and I'm like well what's the point to have seven speaker just in one location we don't need that much speaker in one location so we just did two for now um, I really like the overhead music doing the 
uh, during Christmas season when I go to the store, I rather do enjoy listening to you know Christmas card overhead. So yeah, we're gonna be playing a lot of music in here. So we have the speakers there. A really cool feature that I like about this house and I it was something that we we didn't expect or didn't know about is the vent so you can see the little vents in the ceiling um this vent can circulate the air so if you want the warm air from upstairs to come down you just open them up and you get warm air from upstairs coming down to the basement and cold air from the basement going up so that's really nice you can balance the temperature in the house instead of having one area cold and the other one is warm or okay so yeah i'm excited about that so this is under the morning room as you can see this is a really nice place of uh, space they had an option to do a wood cap over the wall but i honestly rather like the plain look i just like the the drywall look uh drywall effects so we decided not to put the wool cap there yeah so i think it looks good just like that and this is where we're gonna put a tv or projector um my husband wanted our um all that up in the ceiling for projector so we have that there so whatever we decide this is what it's gonna be okay we move these two up so that when we mount the tv we don't have any wires hanging down so yep that is over there and what else can i show you here so this house has so there's two unfinished storage in this plan and this is one of them we're going to change this up to a game room there's not much in here we have the lighting but there's no socket here um i don't know i don't know if i feel like somewhere along the line we had talked about putting our uh, outlet here but it probably got lost or something but just make sure that if you have unfinished storage space we have two we don't need to so this room going to be turned into a game room for the kids a playroom some sort of room for the kids to play uh we will need we will need an outlet in here so if you building your house or thinking about building your house take note that's something you want to ask about if it's not included make sure to add it to it if you plan on changing your unfinished finishing your unfinished storage space to turn it or convert it into a room a game room or whatever you want you have all that because so yeah that's what it looks like here i'll close this space and i am going to bring you over to the bedroom down here so this is the bedroom down here and i just love how big this room is it's so big so this is and this is what it looks like and I am super excited for this space down here. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It has a closet. The closet is pretty big. It's a walk-in closet. Yep, it is a pretty big closet space. Uh -huh. And it has lights, so that's it. We're bringing it to the bathroom down here. So we have another closet space. This is the closet space here. 
And again, you cannot get enough closet space. So I am excited about that. And just another empty storage, unfinished storage space. It's like a big space back there. Here is the bathroom. So this is the bathroom downstairs. As you can see, and I just, this is so cool. I just like love this bathroom doors. So this is the door. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, so we're gonna go upstairs to the bedroom up there and you can see what it looks like. So here is the love area. I am just really excited again for the space that we've been blessed with. Like this space is more than we could have asked for. And I'm grateful for that. This is the loft area. So it's just a chill hanging out area before we eat, before we all get to our room to sleep. This is where we're gonna be hanging out. So come over here. I'm going to show you these rooms. We will start with the bathroom over here. Start with the bathroom over here. So this bathroom here, um, two of the rooms shares. Um, the only thing about this bathroom, I wish the sink was in the middle, but that's something that I am used to. And this is something new to me. So the sink is over there. There was an option to have two sinks in this bathroom. We did not go with that option because it, the bathroom is not a Jack and Jill bathroom. If it was, to me, it would have made much more sense to have two sinks but because it's not we just have one there's a door between the sink area and the actual bath room so here is the bathtub it's pretty big i like how deep it is um it's just really nice my kids love to take a bubble bath so yeah this is what it looks like um so we again have another closet space here there you go it's just lots of space so that's nice there's one of the room up here as you can see the rooms in this plan are just really big. I love how big they are and it's just amazing to be in a space where you have so much room after you put in your furniture. So that is good. So this room has a walk-in closet. Um, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Just plenty of space to, you know, Keep your clothes and stuff. So that is it. Now let's go to the other room. Down this way. And here is another bedroom. Here. Um, again, a lot of space. Tons and tons and tons of space here. Another walk-in closet here. It's pretty exciting to have this. Yep, just rather nice. All right, now let's go to the laundry room. Here is the laundry room. As you can see, we have a plumbing access and I plan to put a shampoo bowl over there. At least that's my vision for right now. We will see how it goes once I start looking for that actual shampoo bowl. So that's what it looks like. The washer and dryer are not standard. We pay for these. So there you go, that's it. I'm gonna bring you over to the fourth bedroom. So this bedroom over here has its own bath. Um, it's a decent size. It's the smallest bedroom in this house. It has a walk-in closet as well. The closet is small, but it's again, a pretty decent size here. And it has its own, um, bathroom 
Yep, so this is what it looks like here. This is the bathroom. Uh, again, it has a closet space, which is very nice to keep towels and stuff there. So that's what it looks like. So this is our bedroom. Pretty big, pretty big space. And I'm excited for that. Yeah, so that's nice that we have all of these. And oh my God, this closet space. Oh, like, and I'm so glad that we have all this space. So yeah, and again, this is our bathroom. As you can see, um, that's what it looks like. It has a closet space there so we can keep our towels and stuff in there um there you go all right so this is what it looks like in here this bathroom is super 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 big it has the first room over here that has its own private suite so you can be in here doing your business and no one has anything to say to you but you just close your door and you go about your business. So that is there. And we have all this. And I just, I like these doors. It's just, you know, so you can enter in from whatever side you want. Okay. That's nice. So again, a pretty big space here. It's really big. Shower space, you know. It's, I, I love that they have the shower space so big, you know, and yeah, so that's nice. That is nice. And here is our tub. Oh, it's wet in here, but this is my 72 inch tub. It's wet right over there, so I'm not sitting there, but it's pretty deep. It's, it's like pretty deep. Like it's pretty deep. It's it's pretty deep in here so <laughs> yep i am excited for this yes i can't wait to just suck up in this stuff so yes thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing like comment and share this video i got more content coming for you i've also just been accepted into grad school and I will be putting out content talking more about that. So yes, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I thank you so much for your time, your love, your support. I appreciate you, and I hope you're having a blessed week. Bye.